thank you very much for joining us. And at every political party, at every event and rally, at every occasion making history, we will be there to get you in the know. Welcome to today's segment, which is exclusive on Transit TV. So today we have two special guests with us in studio. We have our resident analyst and political commentator, Kevin K. Kimani. And youth leader from Kasarani, John Magati. Thank you very much for joining us. I am Ronnie Ochien. And I go by the name of Brian K. Okay, and just before we get into it, let's take it to our analytical journalist, Jacqueline Karitha. And I don't know whether if she can hear us from the studio. Uh, hello there, Jackie. Can you hear us? You can get us. Hi there, Brian and Ronnie. I can hear you crystal clear. And just to tag and jump into the day's discussion today, we will sample a video that trended highlighting the common Monanchi's flight into the wake of the Jubilee government. So let's take a look. Tunaamuka tunasikia mafuta imepandishwa, tumesikia gas imepandishwa, vitu mingi zimepandishwa. Na tuliamuka asubuhi kuchaguana. We unaacha kazi yako, nilikuwa na mtoto mdogo nilimuacha kwa nyumba. Ndiyo nikatagua president. Mwenye anaweza kututetea. Na saa hii, awatujui sisi tunaelekea wapi. Na wakai tini, waone mwananchi bili anaumia. Hii Kenya ni kuhama tutahama ama tutaenda wapi sasa na tutafanya nini. Tumechoka na tumechoka. Hmm, indeed, just as you have seen, quite disturbing sentiments there on the economic reality in the country. No, we are at this University Nairobi campus and we decided to sample a couple views. And with us, we have our report on the ground joining us. Hi there, Levi. Hello, Jackie. So what do you have Today, for as you have mentioned, we are at the Desta University Valley Road campus and we have students here with us who will share their view on the country economic status in relation to our borrowing and public debt. So tell us your name and what are your thoughts. Hi, my name is Njeri and I feel like there's nothing wrong with the Kenyan government borrowing. The problem comes in when the money which is borrowed is not used for the right reasons. We have Currently, we have borrowed a lot of money, and the guys are just stealing the money. You're not seeing development. For example, the the Ethiopian railway took a sh uh, took less money to build compared to the Kenyan railway, which is taking a lot of money and it's not electronic. So I feel like uh, the money we take, we are borrowing is not being used for the right. Thing. So, what are your thoughts? So, uh, hi, my name is Amadi. Uh, I think we are sinking in a very deep hole that is very hard to come from and um, this debt is, we are the ones who are feeling this pinch because uh, prices of food is key and ju, we are the ones who are feeling, not take and ju, we are the ones who are feeling this pinch. So uh, I think I'm very disappointed with, uh, with the government of Kenya. Sasa, Mimi, I'm very disappointed. You see, kila saa tunashina tukiomba pesa na sijina nye narubisha hii pesa. Wacha ni kwambeo, ni wana hapa chini? Hapa ni nanga ni naomba pesa na kikambiri ni mekunjiwa. Sasa, wani trillion mutaripa siku gani. Juzi ni mambo jini kwa nandeni ya 200,000. Ni hata mwenye zina 200,000 ni meraliza mahali. I'm very disappointed. Uhuru, tafadhali please. Ah, please, please, thank you. As you have heard from the people at the Desta University Valley Road campus, that's the situation on ground. Remember that is we here that keep you in the know on the Transit TV. Now, let's go into the house. Timing is uh, just about right, and uh, welcome to the house. As uh, mentioned before, I am uh, Brian K. And I am Ronnie Chen. So let's just get into it with our guests. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Okay, it's been a while it's from, the, a while, from, the, from the from the radio station now on TV. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, so but I'm ready. yes, okay, so. Our president uh, went to China, as we all know. So our president, yes. Uhuru Mwigakinya, went to China. Yeah. And uh, among us, the original hype to deal was that he was going to acquire uh, a loan of 368 billion. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, a loan of 600, uh, sorry, uh, 368 billion, yes. Yeah. And um, this loan was going to be broken in two. Uh -huh. Yes? So now the loan was going to be broken into two. Uh -huh. The first was 184 billion, which would be given to Kenya as, as a, a grant. grant. The second was 184 billion, 
as a loan but with minimal terms relaxed yeah term relaxed conditions all right okay okay yeah. now no no start us off for that <laughs> I, I think we're, we're getting it all wrong mm-hmm. let, let me let me read from my notes because mm-hmm. you people don't understand the chief of staff mr mm-hmm. nzioka waiter yeah. he said that was not the reason that uh drove uhuru Mwegai kenyatta to take a plane his own personal jet from kenya to china to ask for a loan. No. Because the loan already came, we built the SGR, we've already gotten to, uh, we already passed Nairobi, mm-hmm. we're headed now towards Naivasha. Naivasha is now going to become the main port mm-hmm. for feeding the small landlocked countries that are in partnership with the country. Now you see, when Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta went there, according to the Chief of Staff, it was not to request a loan. Because you see, for the rest of the part of the development of that SGR, as you people are, qu- are claiming, is because uh, he wanted to, be, to bring about those talks. Mm-hmm. China wants to talk with, uh, to begin talks with Uganda, to begin talks with But listen, but, 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 Uru Kenyatta mm-hmm. to go for loans mm-hmm. for the SGR. It is it is something that is domi- documented in in mainstream media. It is on YouTube. Okay. It's something that can be accessed. You know. Mm-hmm. So uh, there is that always like public shame. Yeah, like let's cover our face yeah. kind of thing. Like mm-hmm. we were denied loans because let's say the the, the deal they were presenting to China wasn't favorable for the Chinese. You know, the Chinese are just new colonization type of yeah. mentality. Mm-hmm. No, it makes sense. So it wasn't favorable to them. They denied the loan. So the why the state house is just trying to play games here. But wh- while at it, we're talking about the SGR, right? Okay. My point is uh-huh. the point is it is the best thing China has ever done to Africa. No, no. Listen, my issue was not SGR. My issue was when he took this trip. This trip that you people are saying the loan was well, declined. Well, well, it's well, not well, the well, loan that was well, declined. Well, it wasn't well, the well, main well, conversation. Well, the well, reason well, he took the trip, and even if you want to quote Raila, but Raila says he will accompany him to go have talks with the president of China. He never said he would accompany him to go sign off on a loan. He said he will accompany him for talks with the president of we China. We will get back to that. bilateral talks. Okay, okay, we will get back to that. Let me hold you on that. So uh, the transport uh, cabinet secretary had uh, something to give out, and um, yes, as he as uh, as we get into as we delve deeper into what uh, the transport cabinet secretary said, uh, we'll first of all watch a video uh, by uh, by one of our landed accountants, uh, Honourable Bichachi. So yes, uh, let's take a look. There's a lot of stupidity that happened throughout this process. Stupidity number one, we decided that we are going for the loan. Then we, now, if that is not stupidity, nothing else can explain it. Okay? So when you take it from a stupidity standpoint, we have a lot of stupidity running throughout the narrative of SGR, both those who are for and who are against. Those who are against are of the mind that because SGR does not make profit, let's not have it. And so on Friday, last Friday, Transport CS, James Masharia stated that the SGR which has reached Naivasha will now be linked to the old line. Why? To ensure there is no disruption in transportation. So his ministry will model Naivasha as a transshipment center from where cargo arriving on the SGR from Mombasa will be transferred to the existing meter gauge railway in Malaba. So all this was based on what he said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I will quote him, I will quote uh-huh, his uh-huh, statement. Uh-huh, okay, he said in okay. a quote, Okay. What we prioritize is making sure that when goods get to Naivasha, they are not marooned. What is important is to make sure we have connectivity by ensuring that we have a transshipment point in Naivasha from SGR to MGR. Mm-hmm. Meter gate rail. Meter mm-hmm. gate rail. Yes, okay. So now, now this takes us back to the argument of not building the SGR and repairing the existing one, right? Mm-hmm. Which we had which we would have been uh, much uh-huh. more cost-effective. I hope you remember this. I see yeah. you laughing, KK, okay? Mm-hmm. Cost-effective. And so this decision by the transport ministry, doesn't it serve uh, as a reality check for government officials who spent mm-hmm. the last five years fighting back criticism, mm-hmm. like on the cost of the line? Mm-hmm. Straight up what? Instead of building That's an it. SGR, yeah. repair the old one. MGR. Mm-hmm. Does it take, take us back to that argument? Yeah. 
re refurbish the old one okay. spend okay. half the money let, and let's get let's, a let's, deal. let's go back to basics mm-hmm. where should we build a standard gauge railway mm-hmm. for economic purposes mm-hmm. right what is the point building an inland port what is the point building a, a railway yeah. for importing more. It's supposed to be exporting more because when you export, you build the economy. When you import more, you kill local industry, you kill jobs, you kill manufacturing. So you can't even talk about any major project that the government, that the Jubilee government, that they big for manufacturing and everything. Well, you're importing. You get. We're importing basic things that we don't even actually need. You get. My opinion was when they look at how. The main but, uh, but I must stop the with their basic yeah. things because uh, according yeah. to the according to the finance committee uh, from government, we spend uh, over two hundred uh, two is it two hundred two hundred billion two hundred billion importing basic commodities such as wheat over two hundred uh-huh. rice, rice toothpicks yeah. yes toothpicks yeah. eggs then yeah. they're even importing fish fish from China yeah, yeah, yeah. okay mm-hmm. no okay. But, you know we need to change the mentality that the Jubilee and African as a whole that we be doing things. That is that is stupid thinking. We have all the raw raw resources. We have uh, re- human resource. We are around 1.2 billion Africans. You get. Mm-hmm. We have 1.2 mar- 1.2 billion of market of people who can buy those resources. You get. We have everything that we need and whatever we can't have. Buy Africa, not make Africa. Uh, okay, okay. What that by extension? Is, a, is the reason for the inland port. Mm-hmm. You see, the, one of the things that the, we have... The extension of the inland port... Let's, let's go, okay, go, continue. Let's give some time. That chance. extension is the reason for the inland port. But before I get to the inland port, there is what they have asked about, the SGR and the MGR. Now, you see, the SGR was meant to create a continuity. Like, we've already started it afresh from there. So we are coming all this way to Naivasha and then going all the way to Uganda via Kisumu. Now, that extension was meant to unite these two countries that are already united, which is a point that I don't even understand, but they haven't clarified it yet. These two countries that are already working together. And you see, the funding for this project was not just to be, the burden wasn't just on Kenya only, because this SGR is reaching Uganda, Uganda has to be involved in the talks. Well, we already had a railway, yes. That is functioning. That was you not know, functioning. No, that's why they no, 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 let, let me... Like, that was not no, functioning. The, this, that's why the, the, the SGR... So, I'm going to ask the both of you a no, common question. Is, the, the, do you think... Do you think... Do you think... Do you think that first, okay, before you, you clarify, before you clarify, as you address it, then clarify. Do you think that repairing the SGR would have served us to best to reduce the cost? Given the fact that now Tanzania is coming up with their railway line and it's far much better than what we have. Now that's why we need to question no. China. Mm. Let me stretch it a bit. So uh, the government secretary for foreign affairs, Monica, um, Madame Monica, stated a uh, statement on China was that, and I quote, strange headlines out of Nairobi today. The, relation, the relationship between Kenya and China is broader than the SGR. In fact, the SGR extension beyond Naivasha has never uh, has never been a priority uh, a priority agenda for the current mission to Beijing. Mm-hmm. Our focus was on growing market access, development of our industrial and special economic zones, and, ma- and partnerships with the private sectors and with the private sector sorry for investment. Significantly, the first PPP public private uh, public private yes uh, uh, partnership. partnership deal that uh, was struck yesterday. So where is the headline coming from as to where we were going to get a loan? Uh Let me also stretch it further. Let me stretch it. So Kenya signed three infrastructure financing deals worth 226 billion and were made through a concessional financing and public-private partnership, PPP. Okay? So let's stretch it a bit further. Mm -hmm. Stretch it. Just to break it down for our viewers to follow up with our conversation. Concessional finances are loans that are extended on terms substantially more generous than market loans. So the concessionality is achieved either through interest rates Mm -hmm. below those available on the market or by the grace periods, or a combination of this. Now, one thing we also need to understand with uh, concessional loans typically have long risk periods. Uh, So we can say that even if we didn't get the Chinese loan, as we we had planned and as you put it, it was not a loan. If there if was we, no loan we were looking for. Okay, if we no, did not get the financial no, 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 Let me finish and let me frame it. Let me finish let me frame we it. Even if we did shops. not yeah. get the funding we initially had hoped for from China, we still acquired more debt. 
Yes or no? Debt is because we are already in debt. Debt? We have debt because of stupid uh, leadership. Uh, uh, so, so wait. We are already wait, in debt. Question, we can't acquire the more debt because we are already in debt. debt. The we are already the overflowing in debt. debt. The question on, on the floor is this. Mm. We did not get the 100, uh, is it not, not 100 percent, sorry, 300, 360 billion. We did not get that. But through PPPs, we got a total of uh, 226 billion. Mm -hmm. So, is it that more debt? It is, it is more debt, but it's not to China. Mm -hmm. It's not to China. Yes. Let's be clear on that. Yes. It is not to China. It is to this partnership with private entities, mm -hmm. which by the end of the day, they also want to. God, they also want to gain something from the government that they are partnering with. So you see, in a partnership, there is your input, my input. There is your gain and my gain. So at the end of the day, they are looking for certain returns that will come from it. That's why it's called a consensual loan, so that it's not based on market loans where the interest is based on uh, already pre-discussed pre market liquidity. Yeah, so it's more liquidity. No, we have to, to be realistic here. When you're taking a loan to invest, in a business is because you're making a profit out of it. You get so that you can be able to sustain the the interest plus the and service the loan. Give me an example on what the SGR. Okay, okay. Is going I, to I will frame this in in a metaphor. I'll, me I'll, I'll frame this differently before we go on a break. Yes. Going to uh, the way. government, a uh, food for thought. The government constructs roads and they will have a road up to where you live. Does that mean that that road has to and Profit. No, no. When you're taking debt, no, when, no, it comes to we, we, when you're talking, we, we're talking about debt. Infrastructure. And infra infra infrastructure is an obligation. It is an but obligation. I think, but, but are you alluding to the fact that it has to be moderated? No, I'm. I'm just trying to. You know, mm -hmm. the main reason why we have the like, three arms of government, except, especially the legislature, mm -hmm. is because such issues can be debated, and so that you can be able to tell. How are we going to get this loan? What is the interest? What when you're taking a loan, you always give security most times. What is what are we giving? How are we losing? What are we benefiting at the end of the day from okay. this loan? Okay. Okay. It makes sense. So I'll so have to stop. Those you are there. the those yes. are the questions. I'll, that I'll have to stop you there. This, we'll, we'll need this, to come back. This after government a quick is break. Not us need to come back after a quick break. Yeah, information yes. needs to be spread. This information yes. needs yes. to be spread. Exactly. Yes. But also, we need to go on a break. No, no, we go on a break. We need to go on a break. The president gave a press statement and said that the the information of the loan we have with China will be released to you people. And until today, that information is. Not that was during it's the campaign. Either the media is lying to us, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a break. No, we're going to come back to you after this after short commercial break. Thank you. We have we, we have uh, we have two tweets uh, and one tweet from Akron Jiro uh, Kai. She says that we have to painfully bear with the constant increase of prices on commodities in the market. Uh, people are struggling to survive on uh, one meal a day. Besides the huge amount of loads the government keeps incurring to develop the country. Add Samuel. Uh, Sam, oh, I mispronounced that. Add Sam Samuel or Samuel. Uh, I just have one question, Mr. President. Uh, what are you doing about Ferdinand Waititu? Uh, are you angry uh, as we are? Waititu is an interesting topic. We won't pick it today. We won't pick it today. So on to text messages. Yes. Uh, so that's what people had to say on Twitter. So moving on to text messages. Our number is double two four double two. You can text us. Um, this Kimani from Kiambu who says the Jubilee government needs to deliver promises that were made in 2017 uh, campaigns. Uh, as well stadiums. as cab corruption. Five yes. 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 Food security. Food so security. So impossibility. It's still in the big four agenda. So Kimani goes on and says, Ferdinand Waititu, for oh. instance, needs to be held accountable and people of Kiambu need answers. Oh. 
uh, on Facebook yeah. messages, uh, Ochieng has uh, Ochieng underscore God. Uh, as much as uh, the handshake brought about uti- uh, unity and cohesion among this, uh, the Kenyan citizens, the opposition has grown weaker and is less vocal about the issues that the common Mona Inchi is going through. Which opposition? <laughs> there oh, we have there no, were two okay, people okay, okay. checking hands. We have no opposition. Okay, 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 the final okay, 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 That's another okay, okay, institution we need to. The only opposition we have is me and you who uh, are suffering mm-hmm. 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. So, uh, my resident analyst, thank you very much for coming live on TV. So we'll so still meet on radio on the house yeah, as yeah. always. Uh, John Magashi, youth leader, Kasarani. Thank you very much, man. So thank you uh, very much for uh, watching and tuning in to uh, the house. Remember to always catch us up uh, every week on uh, Thursdays at 9 p.m. after your news at Transit TV. And uh, with that, also don't forget to watch uh, our subsequent uh, sister channel and uh, our other channels uh, there in, uh, in TV and radio. And yes, without further ado, Let's see you next time on The House as we break down politics as uh, is put out best. <laughs> yeah. Yes, getting you Definitely in the know. In the know. Yes. Yes.